Senior Senator from Arizona. <laughs> Mr. President, um, it's very hard for me to add to the eloquence of my friend and my dear friend from Arizona. But I do want to say that it's been one of the great honors of my life to have the opportunity to serve with a man of integrity, of honor, and decency, and commitment to not only Arizona, but the United States of America. I have seen Jeff Flake stand up for what he believes in, knowing full well that there would be a political price to pay. I have seen him stand up for his family. I've seen him stand, stand up for his forebears, who were the early settlers of the state of Arizona. In fact, there's a place called Snowflake, Arizona. And obviously, the Flake part comes from his direct predecessor. It is the Flake family and families like them that came and worked and slaved and raised families and made Arizona what it is. And it has never had a more deserving son than Jeff Flake and his beautiful wife, Cheryl, and children. So I would just like to say, Jeff, I've known you now for a number of years. I know you have served Arizona and the country. And there's one thing that I'm absolutely sure of, and that you will continue that service, which is part of your family. It's part of your view of America. It's part of your uh, willingness and desire to serve Arizona. And one of the great privileges of my life has been to have the opportunity to know you and serve with you. So as we look, all of us, at some point at our time that we have spent here, whether it be short or whether it be long, we look back and we think about what we could have done, what we should have done, what we might have done, and the mistakes we made and the things we're proud of. Well, when the flake service to this country and this Senate is reviewed, it will be of one of honor of brilliance and patriotism and love of country. And I thank you and God bless you and your family.